In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to be able to securely share your documents using Orange Docs. First thing you want to do is go to orangedocs.com and hit get started. Next, you, will, you can sign in with either your Google Drive or your Dropbox account. We'll choose our Google Drive account. And what Orange Docs is going to do now is sync your Google Drive with Orange Docs, meaning you never have to upload files to Orange Docs. They are always going to be synced with your Google Drive, even after you share the file. Next thing you do is hit under apps, hit share, and finally share file. You can choose from either secure and track. And by doing so, what we're going to really do is ensure that only the intended recipient can view the file and no one else. Under Google Drive, we can see we can choose from either share with me, shared drives, or my drive. If you are choosing to share from your shared drives, ensure that you have either at least manager access and that drive has the ability to share outside the organization. We'll go ahead and choose from our demo company called Morel, their annual report. It's a highly confidential report that we only want to make sure the intended recipients can view and no one else. Next, we can choose how we want to secure this. The first option is whether or not we want to allow them to download the report. If they download the report to their computer, we lose control. They can share it with anybody they want. They can post it online if they wanted to. And uh, we won't be able to you know, prevent them or disable access at any time. Instead, we'll disable downloading. Note this only works for files that Orange Docs can preview. For Google, this would be PDFs, Google Sheets, Slides, Docs, uh, things like uh, MP3 audio files, MP4 video files, text files and image files. You can get the full list here. Any other types of files like Excel will still be able to be downloaded even with this option turned off. Uh, typically with something like Excel, the best thing to do is either convert it into a Google Sheet and share it or a PDF. And then you can disable that downloading. The next steps are how, how is this going to be secured? Well, Orange Docs works with the device level security, meaning that when someone opens the link, they will verify their device, either their phone, tablet, laptop, etc. And then that device going forward will have access to view that particular file. Meaning that even if they decide to share the link with somebody else, it will not work. For each of those devices, you have a couple different options. You can choose how long you want the device to remain active. So you can choose once they uh, authorize it, up anywhere between 15 days to a year or indefinitely if you just want to turn that off. And then finally, how many devices per recipient do you want to get them? Um, again, the more devices, the more chance they forward it to somebody else and then someone else authorizes the device. So keep this number low. And if, if you ever want to, you can always resend another access email. I'll show you how to do that a little later to give them a fresh new set of devices. First thing we want to do is I'll enter who we want to send this to. In this case, I'll enter our own account uh, so we can go ahead and preview exactly what that's going to look like. And then finally, we can choose how we want to deliver this. Do we want to auto have Orange Docs automatically send an email to the recipients or do we want to maybe craft our own email and insert a link for that recipient? Um, so again, if you want to manually send it, just ensure that you copy the links that are generated for each recipient and put that in an email. Um, it's very key that you set the right link for the right recipient. Otherwise, Orange Docs is going to work correctly. We'll use the automatic uh, send as an example. Now, once we hit confirm, we'll see right away that we've already sent out one access email to a recipient, which is ourself. And we can go ahead and view that and see exactly what it's going to look like for our recipients. So here we can see the email that was received uh, and sent out via Orange Docs on our behalf. First thing you'll notice is it's going to include our name. So this would be your name and your email address. So that, you know people know exactly who it's coming from. And then I'll include obviously the name of the file. Clicking this link, it will then open up the file. But before it does so, it's going to ask the recipient to confirm access. And it's going to tell them, you only have one device. So do you really want to open it on this device? So if they, for instance, are out, they're looking at their phone, maybe they want to wait, get back to their work laptop, 
and really review this other work laptop. Once they confirm that device, they'll then be able to go ahead and view the document. Note we also let recipients log in with a verified Google account as well. Um, and that lets them go ahead and bypass the device self security because we already know that Google has verified their email address and it's them. Once we confirm that device, the user has even access through that uh, particular document and they can go ahead and read it online. Notice that there is no easy way to download this. You cannot save the page. You can't uh, save the images or copy the text out. And there's no easy way to download this. Keeping you know, your access to the document at all times. So how does this work? Well, even if someone, if this email is forwarded, only this device, in this case is my work laptop, has access to this particular report now. So I can easily open it here, but if I forward this link to somebody else, it will not work for them. And that ensures only the intended recipient can view the document. If we go back to Orange Docs, we can look at some of these modified settings. So what we can do is later change some of these settings of this particular shared file. First, what we can notice, we can see, okay, what exact file is this that we shared? And you can click this link here to actually open it within your Google Drive. Secondly, we see what options we chose. So we decided to disable downloading. You can obviously re-enable this in the future if you've decided that you're okay with people to be able to download the file. And we can see exactly what device expiry options we've chosen. Finally, we can go ahead and add new recipients. So in this case, I wanna go ahead and maybe add Chad. And once I confirmed that this is correct, I can go ahead and hit the confirm button and it will send Chad an access email. If you decided, oops, that was incorrect, you can go ahead and disable access at any time per recipient. Also, if Chad decides, hey, I, I open up my phone by accident and they're not unable to open up the work laptop and they send you an email about that, you can easily just resend access. And by doing so, it sends them a new email with a whole new set of fresh, uh, a fresh set of devices, allowing them to be able to open up on the device that they, they needed it on. Finally, we can see here now in the list of our shared files that we shared our, our, our annual report with two different recipients. And we can now audit this as we go through. We can see that our demo account has opened this and has two different views. And we look specifically to see exactly what was viewed, right down to what pages were viewed and for how long. We can also see specifically what, time, uh, what date this was viewed on, right down to the time it was viewed. And hopefully that gives you an understanding of how you can securely share your documents using Orange Docs.